I've launched campaigns and picked keywords. I've got my bits, set placements too. Now bad mistakes. What's going on, Badger Nation? Welcome to the PPC Den Podcast. Today, we're going to be taking a look inside the Product Opportunity Explorer. It is one of my favorite tools in the entire Amazon ecosystem, their first party tool set, and specifically the Customer Review Insights and the Returns tab. This is a spot where I think as we kick off the new year, you should be thinking about. So let's jump in to the customer review insights and talk about how to get insight from this tool. So here I am inside the Product Opportunity Explorer, zoomed in on the customer review insights. If you've never been to the Product Opportunity Explorer before, we have some really good content on it, which I highly recommend that you check out. The thing that I'm going to be looking at here today is the customer review insights. So what is this? One thing I hear from almost every Amazon seller is what can I do to deal with all this rise in competition? You know, they're dealing with new people coming on to their niche constantly, or they're trying to muscle their way in to a really strong BSR position uh, and outpace their competition. So really, if you think of good business fundamentals, you know, you want to be in a blue ocean by yourself. Uh, you don't want to be uh, competing and have a me too product with everyone else, you really want to differentiate your products in a way so that it really stands out. So this is going to be really helpful uh, for a couple different ways. If you're launching a new product and you want some insight into what to, how to differentiate and how to outpace your competition by building a truly better product, knowing what features to focus on. Uh, and in addition, it'll help you if you already have these features, it'll tell you what to highlight. So maybe you use some of this information that we're about to look at in your product page, your A plus content, potentially find some new keyword ideas to go after. So here I am and I searched for desk lamp. So I'm in a niche of desk lamp. So if you're unfamiliar with what the product opportunity explorer is essentially what it, I'm looking at the niche of desk lamp. If I want to know what products are in that niche, I can go to the products area. So it's basically 131 products that Amazon is putting into the product opportunity explorer. And I can see all different kinds of things. I can see when they launch, how many clicks they get, um, what their total ratings are, are, what their average bestseller ranks, so on and so forth. So I can see a lot of information there about it. And I can also see the search terms that compose uh, that particular niche and how they're growing and shifting and all those good things. We've got other content on the Product Opportunity Explorer. The thing that I really want to zero in on is the customer review insights. So here I am again in the desk lamp niche, and I'm going to scroll down and select the customer review insights. And they've made some changes here, which is why I wanted to talk about it and give you something to do to sort of empower you to get some market analysis here, right with first party data from Amazon. And what we're looking at is a toggle, positive topics and negative topics. So if you don't know that this tool exists, uh, you're instantly gonna be like, hmm, that's really cool. So basically what we're looking at here is positive review snippets. So what Amazon has done, they've scanned through all the reviews of the 131 products and what they found are commonalities with positive reviews and commonalities with negative reviews. So I can see here that in positive reviews, 35% of them mention something about brightness or a shine or a glow. So right off the bat, it's like I'm doing a focus group for people that have purchased that have purchased one of these 131 products. 
It's amazing, actually. So, you know, when we think of like really big brands doing focus groups, every company does that before Disney launches a movie. I'm sure they're focus grouping the characters or when Samsung releases a foldable phone, they're like putting it in front of people and asking them what they think of it. So this has already been done for you with these customer view insights. So right off the bat, if I have a desk lamp or if I'm thinking about making one, I know if I really want to create a standout product, it needs to have really strong brightness so that people would describe it as great and it glows beautifully, those kinds of things. So there's sort of two things here. Number one, when I'm thinking about product development, I want to be sure as heck, this is a PG rated show, everyone. I want to be sure as heck that it actually is bright. Potentially, I want to incorporate that into my product uh, marketing tools. So like my A plus content, I'm actually going to have a visual of sh demonstrating how bright this thing is and then, then ensure that it is actually bright. And it's really interesting, this, you know, some of the phrasing that they're using glows beautifully. Potentially, I use that exact phrase somewhere in my product page. Uh, if I scroll down, you can see that the dimming is also really valuable to people too. Um, so 6% of the positive reviews mention the dimming. It mentions the color of it. So these are things that I would want to incorporate in my product page, in my product development if I'm launching a new product. Um, so it gives you really, it tells you exactly what people are excited by when it comes to buying a desk lamp. If we keep it on the positive side of things, I can also see, you know, what are the big things again? Well, the, the top 25% of products, what do they have in common? So uh, we have an impact on the star rating. Um, so basically, if someone's going to be mentioning the brightness, the shine, or the glow, I know that that is a really, really valuable uh, component to everything. Um, so impact on the star rating basically says, if the review has this, it's going to be a positive review, essentially. Um, so that's pretty much it. So if someone's going to be talking about the brightness, it's going to be a positive review. If someone's going to be talking about, um, and then you can see like the top 25% of the products, you know, only a fewer people are mentioning the assembly of it. So again, it, you're zeroing in on the most valuable component, the most powerful phrasing and uh, information to put inside your product uh, assets. Really, really valuable stuff. And let's switch over to the negative side. When the product messes up, like essentially, imagine you had people that purchased the 131 products and you asked them what they didn't like about it and you were able to sort of collect and absorb this information it's right here in the product opportunity explorer for you so what do people complain about the most it flickers it's dim it's not as bright as expected all of these kinds of things really really valuable value for money obviously there's lots of value buyers so you know we're getting to some minor things, charging, if it's a plug-in battery model, you want to be sure that it charges quickly. So, you know, things things that people are worth maybe investing in on. Uh, if you look at the, you know, the worst characteristics here, things that are more likely to be negative, it's going to be, you know, the bulb flickering, the dimming, it's not durable, the socket is maybe a little wonky. Those kinds of things are super valuable. So what this tells you is it gives you some ideas on how to create when we're thinking of boosting conversion rate on our pages when we're thinking about you know boosting our revenue per click on our pages to convert more people faster um, these are some assets that we can put that we know are going to talk to the heart of what people are looking for when it comes to buying products in this niche uh, super duper valuable insight in terms of finding keyword ideas um, that maybe will really excite people or visuals that will really excite people. You know, the comparison uh, of being bright versus not bright, the comparison of sort of like rock solid, will not flicker type marketing content will really resonate with people because they're essentially telling you what they really find valuable and what they absolutely hate about these 131 products. When we go to the returns tab, uh, this is sort of a, a newer advancement here. They have a returns tab on the product opportunity explorer. So imagine you were able to do another focus group of like everyone who decides to return their products. What are they mentioning? That is the reason they are returning it. And you know that how do we reduce returns, right? Make sure that this desk lamp is bright because almost 30% of the people who have returned this 
one of these 131 products in the last six months are complaining about the brightness, the shine, the glow. 11% are complaining about flickering, the dimming, the color of it. Um, 6% of people are complaining about the socket or the port or the plug. So you know exactly, and like most people don't, are not complaining about the design of things. So I know that when it comes to getting a desk lamp, like people are very, people are valuing the brightness, whether or not it flickers, it does have a good socket, all of those things, super duper important. So I hope this all gives you some interesting insight, a quick tip. If you haven't logged in and looked at the customer review insights or the reviews tab, I would say do this maybe once a quarter, just get a lay of the land. What is the market talking about? Do that focus group, see how this progresses and use this in your marketing assets or when you're developing new products. This is the Product Opportunity Explorer. We looked at customer review insights and I hope this helps you get better convertibility on your product pages. And I hope it helps you think of what to phrasing to use and how to iterate better and how to innovate better than your competition. Have a good one, and I'll see you next week here on the PPC Dead Podcast.